Let's see the next exercise. The next exercise is a deep squat. Deep squat, we need to relax the legs. And we either can do it with a seat at the chair or with the back. The back, of course, will be in the middle. I will hold the back and I will try to sink down without lifting the heel. The heel should always be on the floor. Now, I know this uh, is not an easy exercise. What we have to have in mind is the glutes to be relaxed, not to press once again to each other, and the abdominal to be relaxed as well to allow a deep abdominal breathing at all times. So let's try five with the, the back of the chair. This will really strengthen the thighs. Also what we need is a very strong thighs to hold us up, to hold our vertical position, to reinforce it and consolidate it. So now let's try with the, with the seat. Go as low as you can. When you feel that your body is getting rigid, you stop there. That's the level, that's the limit now that will be pushed slowly, slowly, only by relaxation. By relaxing more, we will go lower. Don't try to force. will be a combination of the deep squat and bending the back. In this exercise, it is very important to keep the foot relaxed and to extend it for extra stability and to move the foot so it will create enough power to lift the body. Okay, let's see how this exercise is done. I'm going to hold the seat of the chair, I'm going to squat and then I will go into a bending position. So this exercise, while holding my hands on the seat for extra support. Let's try to do 10 repetitions. If you find it too hard, you can stop, take a break, breathe, and continue eventually. Thank you. I hope you feel the stretch all the way down to the foot. You see, it's very unusual to challenge the foot into exercise. Yet, if we think a little bit, the foot is the body part that will hold us. It's our support base. So it needs to be very well maintained and in good shape. Now, we're going to see some exercises. They are a uh, little bit more complex. And this is a one leg squat. One leg squat. I'm going to hold this corner here at the back of the chair with the other hand here. 
I'm going to bring the leg to 90 degrees now and try to squat down. I know this is very heavy and then this is very hard and the back of the chair should go under my armpit here. So try to keep balance, try to not to stop breathing. The moment we stop breathing, the body becomes rigid. So keep it soft. Okay, let's try. As well, you can go as slow as you can without forcing the body. So just go a little bit. Thank you. Five repetitions. And we will do another five on the other side. I hope you feel the stretch all along the, the suspended leg. That's very important to stretch this line as I have said. Let's try on the other side. The same thing, I'm going to hold this, uh, this corner of the chair. Extend the leg. And now, take a deep breath. You see in Tai Chi Chi Kong, when we breathe, we go to the initial position with the feet parallel, shoulder width apart, the legs are straight, body is straight, we relax the abdominal muscle. Then we soften the hips, the knees and the ankles. We make like a circle, the back is completely straight. We uh, we pay much attention to the back, so we will not bend backward or forward. See, my back is straight. We relax the abdominal muscle. The arms hold it in this position will create a counterweight, so the body is perfectly balanced and aligned. And now, we will imagine that we sit and we will use the back of the chair for support. So I'm going to be here and hold this stance for one minute and relax my abdominal muscle for breathing and I will control the stability with my feet. I will pay much attention to my feet. The feet will do subtle movements to rebalance. Whenever I'm out of balance, like now I'm pushing the chair, my feet will right away move to regain balance. Two more seconds. And 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very good. This was our training today for core and general stability. Next time we're going to see how Tai Chi works and how we are able with very little effort to perform incredible movement. Thank you very much. Enjoy life. The best for the best.